In this video, you're gonna learn how to use oxygen components to reduce repetitive work, maintain consistency, and build truly scalable designs. I'll show you how to design your first component, designate editable component properties, and use the component on your site. This is Elijah from Oxygen, let's dive in. To create a component, we'll go to Oxygen Components in the WordPress Admin Panel, and click Add Component, and give it a name. Once we've added it, there aren't any other settings we need to manipulate, but we do get access to a short code which allows us to embed this in places like post content. This can be really handy depending on how you plan to use your components. To design our component, we just click Edit in Oxygen. And now we're able to add anything we want to this and build our design out. To show you how to set up component properties, I'll go ahead and swap over to one I've already built. As you can see, my design is complete. It looks exactly how I want it to look, but now I need to expose some aspects of these elements as component properties, making them editable on a per instance basis. So we'll start here. This is my actual quote text. So obviously it's gonna need to be able to be changed. So what can we actually designate as component properties? Basically any element level control, which would be those under this pencil icon here when you have an element selected. In this case, we just have the text control. And to designate it as a component property, we'll hover over the control and click the plus icon next to the control name. And now we get this little drop down, which tells us that it is exposed as a component property and we can change the label and view the property key. Typically, you won't need to change the property key, so you can leave this unique key alone, but you should designate a label for your component properties to make them easier to edit. Next up, we want to make the quote author a component property as well. So we just do the same thing. We go up and click the plus sign, make sure it has a label. And we want to make sure that our quote image is designated as a component property as well, which it is. It has a label quote image. So this is going to be editable on a per instance basis as well. But now that we're on an element with a few other element level controls, you can see that we also could expose the media library or URL option. We could expose the alt option, the lazy load option, and the disable source set and sizes option if we wanted to. But in this case, we don't wanna do that. We just want to be able to upload a different image for each quote. Finally, we're gonna to go to the background image and make sure it is designated as a component property as well. Now that we've got our design locked in for our component and we've designated the editable component properties that we wanna use, we can start using this component. Let's save this and jump over to our landing page here. To add a component to your design, click the plus sign and type component. Once you've dropped that in, on the right hand side, you can choose which component you wanna use. In this case, our component is called quote. And now you can see how cool components really are. We've essentially designed our own bespoke builder element by using components and component properties because now that we've inserted this component, we have our quote text property, quote author, quote image, and quote background image, all configurable for this specific instance of this component. So let's go ahead and make some changes to this one. Let's change the quote image to this fox. Let's add some text. Let's give our quote author a name. And we'll leave the background image alone on this instance, but we're gonna add two more quotes to this page. So let's duplicate this. And we want it to go on the left-hand side of this next section. So there we have the same component twice on the same page, but we're gonna make this one different by editing our component properties. So we'll choose this pigeon, add some quote text, change the name. And then on this one, we'll also change the background image. So you can see here we're using the same exact component, but we have unique properties on each instance. Let's add a third one really quick. We'll duplicate our pigeon and we'll drag this down into the next section. Let's swap out our image, swap out our background image as well, change the quote text. And now we have the same component used three times on the same page with different component property values. So we can save that, load it up on the front end, and you can see the result. 
Now, another really cool aspect of components is that no matter where you use them across your entire site, anything that hasn't been designated as a component property still synchronizes to the original component. Let me show you exactly what that means. Here I have three instances, each with some component properties that have been customized. But if I want to change something about the static design of this component across all instances, I can do that. So we'll select our quote icon and we're going to change the quote icon to something else. We'll just change it to a different style of quote here. And then we'll select our class and change the typography to uh, maybe a more transparent white. So let's save that. And now if we refresh this page, we're going to see our new style of quote icon on every single instance of this component. And the same would be true across all instances of this component on our entire site. And that's about all you need to know to start building consistent, reusable designs using components in Oxygen.